Hello everyone, Atzil here, back with another game of Hearts Fire and 4 as the Majapahit Empire. Wait, that's not the Majapahit Empire. This is the Majapahit Empire. I might be pronouncing it wrong. But anyway, this vulnerable nation is back from a slight period away where it was very hard to form. How did I form it? Stay tuned and watch me. We're going to select country and go to the world map and press on Malaya. Now before no step back, Bittersteel did a video on this and it was quite well known actually to do a civil war as Malaya and then join the Axis and invade from the Axis territory into the Netherlands to take care of business. As a fascist nation you now also have a modifier that doesn't help you joining the Axis. It's the distance to the faction leader and we're pretty much in the other side of the world so we'll have to think of something else and i did let's start with political efforts and get the civil conflict underway one thing we'll notice when playing malaya is that they are actually quite up to speed with all of the research they are part of the british empire i don't have to research transports they already have it they already have ships to build We'll build military factories over here in British Malaya because this part will stay with us if we fire a civil conflict. Five speed, let's go. Political effort is done and we'll go for industrial effort next. And next up we'll take the demagogue. We can also go communist, but I believe we should take this guy. 150 PP and we can get a move on. Anti-communist raids. Prepare for civil war and ignite. Not a lot happening, but at least we got a division. We need to get over here, so we'll need a ship. So our next focus will be naval effort, giving us free dockyards and some naval experience. 48 PP, we're going to go over to Republican Spain and select their province of Madrid for a war goal. That's right, we're using the Spanish military access to invade the Netherlands. Rolled a few generals, actually got a brilliant strategist here. I'm going for the military factories right away. We have our naval facilities now. Here they are. And we'll get some destroyers. We got a military factory, we're actually building guns now. First ship is done. We're calling it a fleet, even though it's only one ship. And we'll invade. The other side does seem to have a division. And here we are. We now have a war goal for Madrid. So we'll declare war immediately and ask for military access from Spain and we'll go to the Dutch East Indies and justify a war goal on them. 235 days to get a well, passable army to actually kill the Netherlands. Build one more destroyer and head into convoys right away. We need more to actually carry our troops. And hopefully we can get production up there. Armament efforts are done. I'm going to go for uh, militarism and military youth for more manpower. We're going to need every edge. We have 10 divisions. These will have to do. And we'll send them over to La Coruña. Merge up the uh, <clears throat> fleet. And send them over as well. My leader is Winston Tyrone. Hmm, doesn't really sound Malayan. But what do I know? Troops are here. They are still pretty awful. <laughs> Can't say I'm too happy about that. But we'll see what we can do to improve them. Building support equipment and artillery for support artillery and engineers. Going to add another infantry. Troops will not be trained by the time I need them, but um, well, we'll see. A 
need the docking rights to get all the way over here. All right, war goals ready. Troops are still exercising, so we'll just wait. And here we go. The invasion launches. Let's see how lucky we get here. I'll also do some war propaganda. Well, I've landed, that's something, but Rotterdam is contested. I don't have a port yet. Can we get Den Helder? Probably doesn't look guarded. And remember, my troops are utter trash, so I'll have to do this quickly. I'm kind of hoping a lot of these Dutch troops are in the New Indies to uh, defend. That does seem to be the case. And we're here! It's already done. Dutch East Indies will take these by annexing them. As for the Netherlands, we're going to puppet them with war reparations and resource rights. And take their navy. Confirm an exit. We can now go into the decisions tab and reform the Talasacracy. Here we are, the Majapit Empire. Beautiful red color. And look at those factories streaming in. Now, then look at those beautiful factories and look at that manpower count. Already went up to a higher conscription level. Probably ne never needed to do that. Well, that's the way to form the Mahajabit Empire. Alright, let's continue the campaign a little bit further. So what I'm going to try to do is sign a non-aggression treaty with the Germans by the time I need it and uh, build up for a war in China. Join Japan, uh, get some conquering, try to get at least this province here so I can use that as a springboard into Japan. I want to try and see if I can make the Majapahit Maja Empire the dominant force in Southeast Asia. Ideally taking over what you would normally do in a game as Japan. So China, Japan and possibly the British Raj in Southeast Asia. And the Philippines for good measure, but um, we'll see about that. Naval Division is ready, I'm going for the Guangxi clique. We're invited to Japanese faction, we'll just uh, accept that. We have a contested landing here, I'll have to pay attention. And here we are. I'll just build a port here, just in case it doesn't work out. I got the capital, Nanning. To capitulate Guangxi, I probably need Gangzhou. Yeah, that's the Guangxi clique. Tough battles. But that's in this supply hell. Skipped a while. Didn't go as fast as I'd hoped. But I do have China capitulated. Let's try to take Shanghai. Guangxi clique and a Reichskommissariat of China. <laughs> but in striking range of Japan. That's what it's all about. This one would have been better, actually, but, uh, well, it's a capital city. Um, it's fine. Moments ago, the Japanese declared war on the Americans. That seems like an excellent time to say uh, goodbye. The German Reich declared war on Malaysian Netherlands. Oops. Well, that's the end of the Netherlands then, I guess. My goal now is Japan. Italy, uh, too bad, too bad. Uh, 
toggled around with um, always engaged, never engaged, and suddenly my naval invasion is launching. How cool. Let's see what happens. Normally, you invade Japan when they're busy in China, but China is theirs now. But I do get the port, which means we might be able to pull this off. No risk, no fun. You guys all get over there. Japan has capitulated, and it's kind of afraid of that. I still need to do China. So I tried to expand into China, didn't go so well. Eventually, I'm just calling it quits here. The goal of this video was to reform the Majapahit Empire and take out Japan, possibly China. Succeeded in one, didn't succeed in the other. It's fine like this. This video will probably go on into 1945. I'm not really having a good time with supply. Look at all these units attritioning, and I'm only just here. China, eh, not anytime soon. Well, if you like this video, please take the moment to press the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if possible. Also, leave me suggestions for future videos. I have plenty of ideas left, but I can always use a few more. As for now, thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.